primary responsibility of the board is to hear and decide appeals challenging final determinations made by the Planning and Development Services Department under the Land Development Code and to hear and act upon requests for variances, special use permits, non-conforming use determinations, and preliminary development plans under the Land Development Code. I am skipping a variance uh, ex explanation because we have a special use permit today only. A special use permit is special permission to use property in a fashion which the zoning classification of the property does not automatically permit. If we grant a special use permit, we may impose reasonable conditions on the use of the property which must be satisfied if the special use permit is to remain valid. Unlike a change in the zoning classification, as a general rule, a special use permit applies only to the specific use requested in the application for special use permit. The standards we use in deciding whether or not to grant a special use permit are listed in section 45-1083 of the Land Development Code. Procedurally, we will call each case by name and number. A member of the staff will then briefly explain to us the nature of each request. We will then take any comments from the applicant or their representative, followed by any public comments concerning the request. Please direct all comments or statements to the board and not to other people in the audience. Before speaking, we will ask each person to be recognized, come forward to the lectern, and, and identify his or, his, his or herself by name and address. After all persons wishing to speak have been heard, we will entertain a motion from the board. The motion will be voted on by the board members and become our final order. Any decision made by this board can be appealed to the circuit court. However, any appeal must be filed within 30 days after the Board of Adjustments has rendered the final order which is being appealed. Are there any questions? Okay, before the first case is heard today, all those wishing to speak need to be sworn in. So will the notary please administer the oath. Okay, before we hear case SUP 23-000006, we need to have an ex parte communication roll call. No. 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 Okay. Staff, if you're ready. Sure. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and uh, board members. Um, this is a special use permit 23-000006 for the Whittington. Uh, it's uh, uh, in reference to Land Development Code Section 45-110 to allow a construction trade to use in agricultural property. The applicants are Glenn Whittington, Aaron Whittington, Karen Whittington, and Christy Gabbard. Uh, the agent for the applicant is George Young, so call him Jim Young. Um, the location is 560 South County Road 315. Uh, the property is approximately 15 acres and located within the agricultural zoning designation. Um, the existing construction trade company is on a 15 acre parcel. We're requesting a special use permit to come into compliance with the land development code. Um, property appraiser data currently indicates a total of three warehouse structures on the parcel um, being utilized for the construction trade. Uh, land Development Code Section 45-106 stipulates accessory structures may be located on agricultural zone properties if they're five acres or greater without the need for a primary residential structure. Um, 40, section 45-72E16, the Land Development Code, specifically identifies a construction trade as a use allowed by approval of a special use permit to locate in the agricultural zoning designation. Here is an aerial of the photo, as you can see, uh, there's some structures uh, currently located out there. They are entirely surrounded by existing vegetation uh, to the north, uh, to the east, and to the south, and also to the west. Access is taken from uh, through between there uh, through a very long uh, driveway. Here is the existing uh, agriculture, or the land use map. As you can see, it's all uh, predominantly agricultural in nature. Here is the zoning map. Uh, all surrounding parcels are also agricultural. And I believe this parcel does have a green belt exemption, an agricultural exemption. Um, here is the site plan is provided uh, showing the access through 15. There's also showing a parking area further south. And 
and three structures on building. As you can see in this picture, a little, a little clearer, there's quite a bit of uh, existing natural vegetation that buffer, buffers and screens it from surrounding properties. So there are no supplemental standards in the Land Development Code for construction trade. However, the applicant is uh, currently screened from view by the existing vegetation. Uh, further expansion of this use uh, would require approval through uh, an amended special use permit that would also be heard before the board. Um, staff finds the application and proposed use meets the criteria, all the criteria for a special use permit on which this should be uh, reviewed by this board as. Um, and we recommend approval with the, just the one condition that the applicant will be required to meet all site development standards stated in the Land Development Code and any conditions added by the board. And that concludes my presentation. I know that uh, there's some technical difficulties. Uh, people out in the crowd cannot see the, the uh, presentation. However, I, I believe you guys can. So if none of you were able to see it, let me know. I can print this out or explain further. But the agent for the applicant is here to answer any questions, and so is staff. Any questions for staff? Um, Mr. Fisher? Kind of do. Um, it, they work commercial. Is that going to affect? I see that there's a mobile home going on there too as a residence, I guess, but would that affect it? Um, well, being that the use is allowable by a special use permit means that it, they don't have to go through rezoning. Now, if it wasn't listed as a special use permit, staff would have, or the director, planning director, would have the discretion to either look at this and see if it could be allowed as, as a special use or they would need to seek a rezoning. Um, I'm not sure if that answers your question in regards to capital uh, use. You know, maybe you can answer it better. I don't know. Sure. And okay. any structure, any structure located on the parcel will have to receive after the fact permits. Okay. So they will go through a building review, including the mobile. Mr. Home. Young, just a minute, please. I think the board needs to ask questions before we hear from the representative. Okay, I have a question. Sure. Mary, or anybody else have a question before I miss Ms. Mazar, go ahead. I might understand they're not adding buildings, they're just getting the ones that are there permitted or? It was the, my understanding that these, this being that they're ag exempted, they, they were ag exempted buildings that were constructed on site, which is permissible. They were then utilized for construction trade. Um, so they will need to seek building permit or after the fact building permits for those structures as they're not agricultural structures. But they're not wanting to add any more than what they have? To my knowledge, no. That was not part of the application and that was not part of staff's review. What about that mobile home that's sitting there? That would have to receive an after the fact permit as well. Okay. Well, the mobile home isn't connected. It's just sitting there in two pieces. But uh, how did he add on there? You know, they just pulled it on there to begin with? Uh, that would be a question for the applicant and okay. the agent for the applicant. Ms. Ratman, you have a question? My question is, how how is it green belted? How did they receive a green belt? What, there's no cattle, there's no... Uh, from, one, from my knowledge, from just what I could, what I reviewed <clears throat> in property appraiser data, it looks like there's some, some apt, some orchard out, some orchard trees out there, orchard creek trees, or some type of vegetation, uh, some, ap some agricultural use, but when the property goes out to assess, you know, they look for an agricultural function in order to get that green belt exemption. But once again, I think that's a better question for the applicant or the agent for the applicant. Thank you. Okay, my question is, I want a clarification. Sure. There are three huge covered sheds, plus it looks like a little uh, auxiliary building that's attached to one of the sheds. It looks like an office. Did, were those buildings put up without a building permit prior to construction? They, well, the, here's the, being that they were they're green belt exempted for tax purposes as an agricultural use. They weren't required to receive the, the normal building permit. They weren't required to go submit plans. They submit a simple site plan showing the location and those they're considered farm buildings and considered exempt from building permit review. Okay, how did they get electricity to those buildings? That I'm unsure of. Um, and that's like I said, it's a question better for the agent for the applicant, however, you know, once this is approved, I think they're trying to seek all the appropriate avenues to bring the property into compliance and seek those permits. It just boggles my mind that those three buildings can go up without any kind of permit, period. I mean, they're huge. Any layperson that's going to put up a building 150 square feet covered has to have a building permit. Well, essentially, that's true. But when, when you have an agricultural exempt property, 
those buildings are considered farm buildings and, and intended to exempt farm buildings for the storage of tractors, lawn mowers for tending to the you know the rural land, the farmland. So when, they, when once they, that use has changed, at that point, that's when we say, okay, now you need to pull a building permit for this because okay. it's not intended for agricultural purposes. All right. Has it been used for agriculture? I'm it was never. Okay, I won't. I'll keep my mouth shut. No, okay. <laughs> All right. Be, anybody else have any questions for the staff? Okay. Before we hear the first case, let's do a site visit roll call, please. Yes. 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 Okay, the agent for this uh, application is Mr. George Young. Would you like to come forward and present? For the record, give, please state your name. I know you. your address is exempt. George Young, I'm the agent for the applicants. Uh, without the use of, all, of our fine uh, IT equipment, I don't have a major presentation. I think what you were presented by the staff is probably adequate to answer any questions you have. Um, to back up a little bit and try to put some of you at ease. Um, this land was initially used as farmland. It, part of it was for hay cutting, part of it was running cattle. Part of it actually is, has an apple orchard on it. It's hard to see on your photographs, but there's a, an apple orchard on it. These buildings originally were utilized for that agricultural use. That's what they were intended for. Um, so they were done under the agricultural exempt. You can. It's a, it's a simple exemption. I got a barn on my property, uh, on my agricultural property where all the tractors are parked, same thing. You can run power to it, so you can get permit, permits to do that. Now, what happened was Mr. Whittington's business, he's in the commercial electric business, was located closer to the highway, and his wire, his equipment, his tools, everything was going missing. People were stealing. So he had this location out of sight, better place to protect it, so he moved his operation of storage of the vehicles and equipment only. There is no office there. They do not handle any type of people coming there to conduct business that's done at a different location. He moved his items there. It was at that point that the county notified him that that's no longer an agricultural use. It's a construction, or the word I'm looking for, the constri construction trade. So we have backed up and began the process to get it done legally. Following the approval here, which I'm assuming we'll have an approval, those will meet all the criteria. The next step is to go. Uh, we've turned in all the plans, and they will go back and permit all these buildings because they were constructed appropriately uh, for this particular use because they're no longer just hay barns. They're now enclosed buildings that house the vehicles, the electric, the trucks that he uses for his electrical work, and watt connectors, that kind of stuff. Does that help at all? Mobile home. Oh, mobile home, temporarily there. It's not going to stay there. It's just a storage location. He owns 15 acres and needs a place to place the mobile home until they can properly set it up, have it permitted on the site that it's going to on another lot they own. So it's just sitting there temporarily. Okay. It will not be intended use in this at all. So how do we know it's there temporarily? Because I just told you. Just because you told us. Okay, so, the, okay. Just because I told you so. Okay, I have a question. You said there's no uh, office there. So what is that little enclosed area that looks like an office with a door? What what did, what did they use that for? It's an entryway into the building. It's probably more for storage when you get one. But it's, they're not conducting business out of there. That is a uh, maybe where they check. Is that where you are checking in? Mr. W Mr. Young, talk to us. We, we, you can talk to those in a minute. Talk to my client. You asked me a question. I'm getting clarification from my client. I'm not sure okay. what the hostility is here. No, I just am asking, you know. Questions, I and mean, it just hey, boggles the mind that things like that can happen, and and it just it's okay. Anyway, so there's n there's no electricity in that little area building that's there with the door. There is electricity, right? Wait a minute, I can't address my client, but you're going to address him. Can we just swear? Okay, Mr. Young, is there electricity to that little? Uh, electricity to the entire three, okay. three buildings, right. which would include that part of the structure. Okay. Any other questions? You done? Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Young. Right. 
Is there, um, ask the question, is there anyone in the audience wishing to come forward and speak in favor of this application? Anyone wishing to come forward and speak in opposition? No one's coming forward in favor or opposition. So at this time, we will close it uh, to the public and open it up for board discussion and motion. No discussion. Yes, motion. Madam Chairman, I move we approve special use permit 000006 as the request meets, does meet the criteria special use permit is required by section 45-1083 of the Putnam County 11 Development Code with the condition record by staff and authorize the chair to sign the final order. Second. Uh, we have a motion second to approve special use uh, per permit 23-00006. Any further discussion? All those that are pleased indicate by raising your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All opposed? Motion carries <coughs> seven zero. Okay, good luck in your endeavor. There's a 30-day appeal process. Thank you. Okay, do we have any old business? Any new business? I had a lot of trouble finding this place, and I've talked to other people who also had trouble there was finding no it. Sign. Pardon? There was, there was no, no sign. sign. No sign. You know, there's something they're getting that. Now, okay. you go out there, there was no green signs anywhere. There was no 911 address anywhere. There's no mailbox anywhere. Events. The only way I found it was I had looked at the uh, GIS map from the uh, property appraiser's office, saw a crooked driveway. So I just drove up the crooked driveway and there it was. Well, there is a, uh, I had a difficulty finding it, but there is a 560. It's black lettering on a black oh, fence. <laughs> yeah, fence. it's always on the fence. So there it's, was no sign of there was no green on the road. permitting sign whatsoever. If, if on my the address road. that, yeah, staff's required by uh, Florida law to post signs up. Um, now, the, main, the ongoing maintenance and upkeep of those signs is not the duty of staff, it's the duty of the applicant. The signs we've been using, we've had some issues with when weather, when there's any kind of, uh, you know, weather we get, they, they just fly away. <laughs> so I'm looking into getting some better signs for us. Um, I asked about it last week, but this has happened several times when we've had some inclement weather um, where the signs have flown off and people are like, where's the sign at? And by Florida statute, you know, as long as notices go out, as long as staff has made an effort to provide um, some type of notification or public notification, we're covered by that. But like I said, we still, I require our staff to go put the signs. I, was, I personally put the sign out, but I think it lasted a total of two days until we got hit by some weather. I go by there every day. I never saw it, so it must have lasted a day. Yeah, you, I mean, you probably saw, you could probably see a wood stake up. And, you know, that's no, probably it. No, no, no. <laughs> it was nothing, nothing. <laughs> they just fly off, yeah. So I'm trying to get to get us to order some different types of signs and new signs because these, they just rip really easily. Yeah, staples. If the wind Put blows. 20 staples in each sign. They're gone. Yeah, they didn't they figure it much for the weather. Well, with the traffic on that road, as fast as it goes, probably blew off as soon yeah. as well. Okay. So that makes it even more difficult when you're sitting there looking for something and you're, you're driving along at... Uh, 25, 35 miles an hour, and everybody else is doing 55. <laughs> that is not good. Yeah. On a bumper. I just pull off to the side of the road, put my ticket on, and wait for them to go past me. So. <laughs> yeah, we've had this issue with the signs with several. So I'm looking into get some better signs, 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 some more durable signs. Oh, it's still there, but thing. it was nothing. Yeah. Okay. Any other new business? Oh, Mr. Chair, I thought you were going to talk to us. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. We stand adjourned. We're early. <laughs> We're early. <laughs> <laughs>